That looks like Noah Dick. And Anita Dick. Wayne? Mr. Dick? Dick with a Y. Yes. Daryl? Mrs. Dick? Uh, Wayne, feel free to call me Noah Dick. Daryl, please continue to call me Mrs. Dick. Brings you up the laneway. Wayne, your family's always been very good to our community, and we appreciate it once. You've used us right, and hopefully you feel as though we've used you right, too. Without question. We appreciate it once. Which is why I know I can count on your discretion, especially in a matter as sensitive as this one. Can confirm. Okay. This is not easy to say. Nor is it by any means an accusation. Where are our daughters? Anita Dick, now. Please. Our daughter, Charity. Charity Dick. And her sister, Chastity. Chastity Dick? Are on their gap year once. Isn't that called rumspringa? Men are talking, Daryl. Anita Dick and I are concerned that our little dicks have been bitten by the good time bug. And while dicks have been known to slip out on occasion, our fear is that our dicks have been out longer than we're comfortable with once. Have you seen our dicks? Oh, yay tall ones. Strong nose like their father, strong-willed like their mother. I did see them at the bush party, actually. Dicks at a bush party, you say? I knew it. Shameful. Haven't seen them since, though, so, truth be told. Katie, you seen a dick or two? That's a loaded question, big brother. Hello, Katie. Noah. Anita. Catherine. Lovely day. What brings you guys by? We heard our daughters were here. And Charity and... We'll take all the Charity dick you've got. All the Chastity dick, too. We want Charity and Chastity home before they get swayed into a life of bad decisions once. They are free to decide whether the English world is for them. That is their right. But our dicks belong in the hands of the Mennonite community. And we would like to gently suggest to them that they return home with us before they've been too exposed. Well, the last I saw them, they were with hockey players. I offered to give them a ride home, but they said that they wanted to walk. We dicks can be hard-headed. Hockey players have quite the reputation for sticking their noses and other things where they don't belong. Can confirm. Oh, dear. My goodness. Good heavens. Heaven only knows.